So here's the thing, ReZero is one of my favorite shows of all time. I loved Konosuba and I actually enjoyed Overlord even though it, uh, um, it had some flaws. I've never watched the saga of Tanya, but I have no doubt in my mind that it's anything less than stellar. I mean, come on, it's produced by a studio called NUT, it just can't be bad. So when they announced the crossover between all of these shows, I was fucking hyped alright. People were calling it the most ambitious crossover in history, comparing it to the likes of Avengers Infinity War. But now that the second season is coming to a close, I can tell you with confidence that Isekai Quartet is no Avengers. Hell, calling it the Justice League of anime would be too generous. Isekai Quartet is some actual Suicide Squad piece of shit. For me, the surprise of the year was Isekai Quartet, cause I enjoyed it way more than I anticipated. I thought I would get bored after two episodes, but the character writing and banter was so on point that it never got old. I changed my mind, I changed my mind. It's the best thing ever. Isekai Quartet is just so bland and uninspired. Tasteless. Nothing happens, most jokes just aren't funny, and the characters are now only a shell of what they used to be. Kazuma is barely an asshole anymore, Subaru is mentally stable, this bitch only talks about food, and this guy has been simping for far too long. Please give this man some chocolate so he can SHUT THE FUCK UP. Rem is way thirstier than necessary, and these two just want nothing but to get boned. Wait, they didn't change that, did they? To the people who actually like Isekai Quartet, ask yourself this one simple question. Do you actually like the show, or do you just like the characters enough that you would watch them stare at a wall for 20 minutes? Can you honestly say that the writers have done a good job with the potential they were given? Uh uh, don't answer. That was a rhetorical question. The answer is obviously no. You wanted Kazuma to be an absolute fucking dickhead, Subaru to die a couple of times, and for anyone to at least acknowledge the fact that Megumin and Emilia sound alike. Spin-off writers aren't limited by anything. They can do anything they want and it doesn't have to make sense in the slightest. Have them go to high school? Okay. Want to kill off a character? Sure. He'll just magically reappear next episode. Want to start World War 3? <laughs> It's for this reason that it's so disappointing to see that Isekai Quartet is more toned down than the very thing it's supposed to parody. Even the ReZero OVA is more creative, and that shit is canon. In terms of parodies, Isekai Quartet is worse than Carnival Phantasm, the Attack on Titan parody, or even Naruto SD, and I'm the only person who has seen this shit. Take Carnival Phantasm for example. In the original Fate Stay Night, there was this character called Berserker, so the writers sat around the table and started thinking. Berserker. Berserker. <gasps> Berserker! And then he turns into a fucking car! It's dumb, it doesn't make any sense, and that's exactly what's so good about it. What the studio behind Isekai Quartet has done is similar to what most game developers do these days. The only thing realistically limiting them from making whatever the fuck they want is their own imagination, so what do they do? Fuck yeah, we put a battle royale in Fallout 76. <laughs> Wait, isn't the Holy Grail War technically a battle royale? Eh, don't worry, Carnival Phantasm turned it into a game show. As a parody, Isekai Quartet fundamentally fails. It doesn't even try to parody anything, all it did was take already established characters, made them worse and then put them in mildly interesting situations. All I ever wanted from this show was to take something I love and taking a massive fucking shit all over it. Is that too much to ask? I take it back, I take it back, Isekai Quartet is nuts. Wait, is that Astarte from The Cautious Hero? Holy shit, it's, it's Isekai Sextet! Omae wa mo 